This is a Your Last Resorts production. Three, two, one. <laughs> uh, it's all good. All right. And welcome back to the Your Last Resort podcast with your host, Brandon Lejean, a.k.a. The Shoe Comic. Guys, we have a special guest this week. Uh, she is a model. She is one of my best friends, Zach Arnold. You've seen him on the podcast before. His girlfriend, Ari. I put on here, question mark, do you have a last name? Because... <laughs> I realized I have no idea what your last name is. It's uh, Alvarez. Okay, I put Alva question mark yeah. down too. So, I, yeah, all of a sudden I realized I was like, you know, I don't think I know what your, your last name is. And I and I couldn't really tell by like your handles and stuff. Yeah. So I just was like, I'll just have I to ask. I a mystery. Go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, well, thank you for doing the podcast. So uh, for those of you who don't know, she she does modeling. You do a lot of modeling for like Harley Davidson, right? And different yeah. models and co- and different uh, motorcycle companies and stuff like that. Uh, before we get into that, I like to start things off with my guest with a would you rather just to kind okay. of break the ice. <laughs> um, so would you rather only drink pasta water or only drink hot dog water for the rest of your life? Hot dog water is brutal. I feel like pasta water is like a delicacy <laughs> in some places. I, I would you're rather right. Yeah, I could water. see. I could see like Italians on some Italian ass holiday. Yeah. Like they're like, "Mom, buca di beppo here. <laughs> here is your Italian pasta water." And yeah. Like, I don't know why I turned Rastafarian <laughs> halfway through uh, my impression of an Italian man there, but yeah. The o- so my only gripe with pasta water and I used to work at an Italian restaurant. So we, you know, made a lot of pasta, a lot of excess pasta water is that I'm lock I'm locking myself out of my computer right now, guys. Sorry. <laughs> um, the only thing is, is so we used to have pasta water like all the time and the cooks would get lazy and leave it in these in the in like the strainer cauldron combo. Yeah. And so the pasta water over time would would turn into this purple and pink like mucus oh, no. cap looking thing. I I don't know how to describe it. I'm going to look up real quick to see if I can find pictures <laughs> of old pasta water old and I'll put it between water. us for anyone who's <laughs> uh watching because like the 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 I, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, there's nothing on Google Images that's going to show old but yeah, it literally looked like something out of Alien vs. Predator. And the smell, like, I can picture the smell. I can so, imagine that. Ugh, it was so gross. Like, I, uh, that's my only thing with pasta water. But I'm also not going to pretend like hot dog water <laughs> is delicious or anything. Hot dog water just sounds like a punishment. That's, For real. It's rough. Have you ever seen those people who they like? They'll freeze hot dog yes. water. And that's an act of war <laughs> and violence. If if someone did that to me, they're not my friend anymore. You choose violence when you do that. That no. is terrible. <laughs> 100%. I, yeah. And hot, like, as a food, pasta is way less gross than hot. Like, hot dogs are disgusting. It's like a meat sphere. Yeah. It's all <laughs> just leftover meat made into yeah literally like a sphere like gross cylinder and don't get me wrong i'll tear a hot dog up at a baseball game right. and there's at a barbecue I'll, i'm not gonna turn a hot or a bacon wrapped hot dog after a yeah. concert like Fuck yeah. i can't i can't turn that down but i'm not gonna act like they're not disgusting yeah it's a little questionable yeah so i think i'm gonna go with you and i'm gonna go with the uh, i'm gonna drink the, the pasta water the italian delicacy, the delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> i think is the better option <laughs> That was the the would you rather to break us into the podcast. I wanted to talk to you about uh, a bunch of stuff about your modeling. There's a bunch of questions that I have about it. So, um, how lo- first off, how long have you been doing modeling for? Um, I'm going on two years. Two years. Okay. So have you been with fresh. the with like the same company? Like, how does that work? For the most part, yeah. I started with Harley Davidson um, mm-hmm. two years ago, and then from there you just kind of get picked up because it's Instagram, and yeah. then. 
I got signed with Shark Squad Motorcycle Attorneys last summer. Yeah. So it's been about a year with them, and I work with them a lot. And then throughout time, just posting, you just get picked up with other people. That's cool. So I got signed to two other agencies in that time. So I'm with four places. Okay. It's just kind of here and there with COVID shutting mm. things down. But um, mainly I work with Harley Davidson and Shark Squad. That's pretty cool. So if, if it's not COVID, how many like gigs do you do normally a week? normally this is my crazy time like april through september i would yeah. say so it's normally four to six events a week wow just different places sometimes yeah. two a day you never know no i totally some i totally get you um something that that i like when when like you know i zach's been my buddy forever and he told me like you were a model and stuff how did were you when you were first approached were you did you think you were gonna get like human trafficked or something I, <laughs> like I feel like as a girl, because, like, I've talked about this on the podcast before, that, like, girls, like, it's it's always crazy how much safer you have to be. Than, yeah. Like, like, us guys, like, I would never think, like, if a random stranger <laughs> after a bar was like, you want to ride home? I would get in his car. Right. And I would be like, I'll be okay. But, like, as a girl, like, you would never do that. Yeah, so, you're going to be on Dateline. Yes. Yeah, so, like, what? how did you get approached? Were you skeptical? Like, what was that? Um, what was that like? Well, my grandma always told me she wanted me to be a model. She mm -hmm. was a model, but I was just, I don't know. I mean, like, grandma's going to hype you up. No, of course. You know, like, even if you're ugly, like, you know that grandma's going to call you a handsome boy. No, yeah, so. my gra no one hypes me up <laughs> like my grandma. She has to be my number one fan. Yeah. So I kind of ignored it. And then um, my best friend does promo modeling okay. gigs. So she um, got me signed with Harley. Yeah. And then from there, I just kind of took off. So I felt safe with it, but... um. I do get approached often for, like, other events, other signings, other agencies, and I do get sketched out. Because sometimes it's, like, a bot account on Instagram. Yeah. And it's, like, all expense paid to Miami. And I'm, yeah. like, I'm going to die. Yeah, you're, like, you're going to wear my skin as a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Not, this is not all expenses paid. Yeah, um, no. Yeah, no, that's crazy. And, like, I've, I've known you now for a little bit, so, like um you know sometimes people just assume like models are like airheads and you're yeah. not an airhead <laughs> which is good because like like you said you're smart enough to be like this isn't a real account but there's people that unfortunately might believe that and and you're in such a weird field where it's like someone could approach you for a job and almost like hit on you but they're more complimenting your yeah. work like that's a very that's a very i was thinking about that that must be a very weird thing to navigate that between where it's someone being respectful about your job and someone just kind of being creepy yeah it definitely is i mean like mm -hmm. when you work anything in that industry and yeah. promos shoots or whatever um you do get kind of comments like that but i've personally learned just to like tune it out like you kind of know what you're signing up for when you do that you know yeah. that you're gonna have people talk to you hit on you compliment you i just kind of zone it out and i'm like oh okay whatever yeah but there are some that are a little more, like, intense than others, and I normally just, like, try to, like, dance away from it. I'm like, okay, <laughs> <How> <laughs> I want to uh, go. <laughs> have you ever had uh, a conversation with an old white man that wasn't uncomfortable at one of these events? It's rare. Yeah, because, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, older versions of me are the worst. Like, I, I watch it happen, and it's so – and I know, like, it's such a cliche to bat – like, Almost now it's a cliche to like make fun of white people for doing white people stuff. Like we all we all fucking know they what white people it, do. Though. But yeah, you're right. It like no one learns. Like <laughs> I watch it I watch it happen and like it's so weird. Like I always think of this one story. I was in Vegas probably when I was like nineteen or eighteen, so my, my younger sister was like fifteen or sixteen. And I remember this like old guy got in the elevator with us, like an old like white cowboy looking <laughs> motherfucker. Like, you know, he had long white Worst. hair, a white beard. Right. Yeah. Ex you are already are like, I know where this conversation is <laughs> going. And he got in and he was just like, you're a very pretty young lady. And it was like, OK, like one, I don't like when anyone speaks to me in an elevator, <laughs> let alone I'm sure no one likes getting hit on yeah. in an elevator. But OK, whatever. If you end it now, this isn't that weird. And then he was like, he looked at my dad. He was like, you're going to have to be careful with her knocking the guys away. And he was like, I remember my dad was like, she's 15. And then the elevator ride was fucking <laughs> silent. Oh, my God. <laughs> the rest of the elevator ride, that guy felt so uncomfortable. And I wanted to just be like, hey, every time you do your little white guy thing, the, the uncomfortableness you feel right now, that's how the other person feels every time. Like, it's no mutual. one no one is like oh my god 
this old wrinkly white man is telling me I look pretty. Wow. Come here, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. no one that that I don't know. I just I don't I don't know. Like it's it's uncomfortable every time. Yeah, because okay, look, I the I equate it to like when I did and I did this when I was young. I'm fully guilty, so I'm not giving people shit. The like h- let's comment a hard eyes on a girl's post. Mm-hmm. Like that's going to work. I I mean, okay, here's my thought process on that is if you're attractive enough, yes, maybe the girl looks at your profile and goes, "Wow, he's commenting hard eyes." But normally, those guys aren't desperate enough to comment heart yeah. eyes, you know? And and I did it, but I did it when I was like 16 and 17, right. and then I got older and, and understood that this in no way works. I can't comprehend that, like, guys still do that and like like grown adults and stuff they're always in their 40s too and that's what gets me i'm like how i don't even know that they know what emojis are and they're (laughs) heavily using them (laughs) they use them more than anybody no for real like they it, it and the way they use them is like they took a class from like a hip young other old person who like thinks they also know emojis (laughs) like seriously yeah it's the way the way they use them doesn't make sense and so i was just yeah like the the hard eye emoji the like real life equivalent is the old guy like awkwardly hitting on you in the most awkward situations yes um i and 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 i have and i have a bunch of questions because i want to ask you about like some crazy gigs and stuff you've done but um what's what's your favorite gig that you've ever worked like do you have can you think of some favorites and can you tell us like you know like oh i got there they gave us free this and that and it was this like what's the coolest gig you've done my favorite i would say was last summer um i was told it was a bike wash down in long beach yeah which i have to do that for harley all the time it's easy i mean we don't really wash the bikes i have no business washing a bike <laughs> yeah, <gonna> break yeah. <laughs> it. But it's a bike wash with one of the agencies i'm signed with so we all had matching suits my best friend worked it with me oh that's fun we drive down there and it's just like this guy's house so i kind of felt like i was gonna get kidnapped yeah that's yeah oh God. but so, you know, I was like, let's let's go. Do, does is there like like <laughs> is there like a, a pimp esque man that rolls with these? these <laughs> not saying not calling you that, you, you know, a prostitute yeah. or that you need it. But like, do you is there at least some like muscle that goes with you to this? Um, or are they just like there's six of you. You could take one guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> So like for certain agencies, this one we didn't. But my friend and I were kind of like, if it's weird, we'll go to the beach. Yeah. Okay, like we're yeah. in Long Beach. There's stuff to do. We'll just dip. It's fine. Yeah. So we go in, and the guy was actually super nice. We called him Dan the Man. He was, like, okay. super chill. And he goes, oh, I hired detailers, so you guys don't have to wash bikes. So I was kind of like, what the awesome. fuck am I here for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I was a little nervous again, but it ended up, it was just a pool party. And so we literally just passed out shots, um, tanned. He did not care. It was so chill. And then um, this girl goes, hey, I'm really hungry. Let's tell Dan. And so she goes, Dan, I'm hungry. And he was like, all right, he buys 15 pizzas like wow. that. Wow. And all of a sudden, pizzas are delivered. He went, he sent his friends to the store to get us our favorite drinks. Yeah. Favorite snacks. Like, I had hot Cheetos. Like, we were, we were having a blast. That's, no, that's awesome. That, yeah, that literally just like, he brought you guys just to like, just to look pretty. We and, were and literally just no, there. <laughs> yeah, that's so, that's such an awesome. And that gig. was so chill. And it was maybe four hours, I want to say. Yeah. We got paid a couple hundred to hang out wow. at a pool. So that was probably my favorite just because I didn't have to do any work whatsoever. No, that's that's badass. Um, So another thing I wanted to ask you before, I, I'm going to make people listen for longer. We're not going to talk about the worst stuff yet because I know that <laughs> everyone's excited for that. Um, So this is something that I run into as like when I when people ask what I do now. I know that like you you make money off modeling and it's and it's your main hustle and, right. and comedy you know i'm not really making any money off it yet but i sometimes i have to judge the situation there's times where i really just don't want to tell people that i'm a comic because it opens up like a weird series of you know pe- a lot I, the always the worst is is they're like can you tell me a joke <laughs> and i'm like we're in a market what, what do you, oh, you're a doctor. Can you perform a hysterectomy on me right, right now? No, like you're being weird. Is yeah. what, and so, and then sometimes people just, there's times where people ask like a million questions. And I know that makes me sound like I'm like, I'm not complaining about it. Cause I like that people take interest in what yeah. I do, 
but there's times where it's like i don't want to talk to people about it is do you feel like that with modeling is there like a fake job description you ever give people usually i'll just be i'll say like my side job lashes so i'll be like oh uh, I, I just do lashes you that's know? okay that's a good one yeah i don't like there's certain times i don't bring it up like if i feel like someone is gonna just kind of look at the stereotype like you said a lot of people think models are just like airheads yeah. or you know whatever for the streets any of that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't bring it up or when I was single and I was dating I would never tell a guy because yeah. they would always start acting very bizarre and mm-hmm. my biggest pet peeve was um when I would tell a guy okay like this is what I do for work mm-hmm. they'd be like oh I got me a model and I'm like no the, no the fuck you didn't like yeah <laughs> you certainly did not that I, would bug me no nah, I get and I totally get you because yeah that um yeah, that's something that I was that I was thinking about too. Is is like yeah, you said people kind of get different and weird yeah. and bizarre, and it also I feel like it opens up a, a lane for like we we're talking earlier, guys, to start getting weird with you. Definitely. Like I'm sure there's almost like you're like I'm a model, and there's like this weird like sexual switch that can, that will flip on with these guys. Zach was the first guy that I told straight away like okay like i do this for work and he's like that's so cool yeah all right we're we're cool (laughs) (laughs) Nah, yeah that's why zach's the shit because he were just like i don't know who you know what i mean yeah it's not that big of a deal it like i like yeah because to me like okay look i can understand why um guys would be uncomfortable if maybe their girl was like a stripper Mm -hmm. or like did porn or something where it's more revealing and, right. and stuff like that and that they i understand that they can be like you know there there's intimate intimacy issues involved with that and stuff yeah um but like the modeling it's just it's i i don't know i never understood that one because if if someone is a model they're subjectively attractive yeah because <laughs> no one i mean no one wants no no one hires ugly models i know right. that's mean to say someone it's fucking the truth clip it and cancel me i don't give a shit but like <laughs> Um, it doesn't everyone want their girlfriend to be hot and doesn't right. everyone want, like, like no one wants anyone to be like, Hey bro, your girlfriend ugly as hell. Like you're going to be like, that's what's up. You know what? She's not a model fist bumps. Like that's no, like everyone wants, like, I mean, obviously you don't want everyone to just be like drooling over your girl, right. but like you want people to think she's attractive and you want her to think i don't know i just don't understand yeah. like no, you want it to be a flex like that's yeah. mine you know no exactly but like you said there is just people that can't handle it and it's got to be weird for... it's definitely weird and then there's a lot of assumptions like that if you're a model you do only fans or if you're a model yeah. you do this and if you do that i mean that's a hustle i respect you but yeah it's not me and people i told zach too people make fake accounts of me all the time Instagram, so OnlyFans, yeah, show like, Otani a home anything. Run, yeah, no, that that's I okay. That's so weird. Uh, having so yeah, I gotta ask that. So you've had people like impersonate you. Yeah. And like uh, to what degree? Like Tinder profiles? Like what? Oh what yeah. Kind of stuff. Before I even had a Tinder myself, I didn't make one until I was twenty. Yeah. Um, but when I was in high school, someone was taking pictures of me and making Tinder accounts. So it's happened like my whole life, but. Tinder accounts, Bumble, fake Instagrams. There was a couple of fake OnlyFans accounts using my like profile picture. Yeah. Like trying to sell it. And then they'd make a fake Instagram following all of my friends trying to like that's get a following. So weird. And I was kinda like, that's weird. Like I don't post anything that could be necessarily associated with OnlyFans. But yeah. like they're using my picture to lure people in. And I was kind of irritated because I'm like, at least give me a cut. Damn. Like, yeah, it's no. my face. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. Stealing money that you could be making. Yeah, that that's so, so weird that people, I don't know. Just that people take, I don't know. Just every, I can't like put into work because there's so many it's different. It's so bizarre, weird, you know. <laughs> yeah, weird, different things about it that like it doesn't what drives you to wake up and do that i don't know yeah so when you had a tinder did you not so you didn't put model in your bio you just put like i think i put like dogs and baseball okay yeah that's fair <laughs> i mean not I mean, not everyone puts their job yeah. i also have been in a relationship for four years now so i like don't remember right. <laughs> what it, what it was like ironically me and erica met on tinder really and she curved me on tinder oh, shit. yeah we met we i super liked her we matched and she left me on red after like four messages ghosted i know and then i got and then i bagged her like three months later so it's the pursuit that i you know what i mean 
It's the slow chase. Yeah, the slow the slow chase. Um, no, yeah, because uh, we'll. Uh, I lost my train of thought, guys. That happens from time to time. <laughs> I'm still a little hungover from the from uh, drinking last night. So <laughs> yeah, no, I, there you. I record every Sunday, and like half the time, my intro is I'm like, "Welcome back," and I'm fucking hungover. So thanks for listening, Suffering. guys. Yeah, but Sundays are unfortunately the only day that works to do this for most people. So. I wanted to move into another segment before we talk more about your modeling and all that. We're going to move into the avid deserter segment, which is where people give me their three favorite and their least favorite dessert. Got so um, the only thing I ask is, is don't be don't be a basic bitch and tell me like ice cream, cake, cookies. What kind of ice cream? What kind of cake? Right. What kind of cookies? Um, other than that, though, uh, what, what's your number one favorite dessert? I made a list. I OK, ready. I like I love I when ready. people make a list. I. <laughs> I, I this segment when I describe it to people over messages, I think they're it sounds a little ridiculous to them. <laughs> but one, it's for so many times this ends up being one of the funniest parts of the podcast right. because people act they'll be I'm not a big dessert person, and then they're like blah 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 is my favorite dessert, and I'm like that's your favorite dessert, like, and they're like you. they're like how dare you insult my honor? And I'm like you care about this shit and you didn't even realize it. Right. So. uh What's your number one favorite dessert? Number one favorite, I've only found it in one place, but it's peanut butter vanilla swirl froyo. Wow, it's delightful. That sounds really so peanut butter vanilla. Wow, that sounds really it's really good. Great with no toppings, like you don't even need it. Where did you so Where did you get this? When I lived up north, there was uh-huh. a yogurt shop in Carmel, and okay. that's the only place I've ever found it. But that's it's so still tragic. My favorite that you can't find it anywhere. I've else. tried that's... peanut butter froyo everywhere in SoCal I can find, and it's trash. Oh. I can't find the same consistency. That's so terrible. That's nothing's worse when like you go on a vacation somewhere and you have one of those like. Uh, like area specific type restaurants and you're like oh cool i'll never have like i know this isn't great food but you know what i love is white castle i love i've never had it oh i mean okay (laughs) i'm hyping it up let me let me be clear it's not great but it is such good drunk food like they have one um on Fremont Street in Vegas. Okay. So like when we went for New Year's all the guys, I I think me and Zach went to White Castle two times at, at like three in the morning. I feel like trip. those rolls would really smack when you're drunk. Oh, they're so they and, and, and like do you like onions on your stuff mm, or no? Not really. Okay, cuz that's a big thing is is like every burger has little grilled onions on them I hate and that. they're so fire. But I mean you can get them without and they right. come with a pickle like I'd rather die than eat a pickle. I'm allergic. So, <laughs> you're allergic to pickles? Yeah. You just like moved up on my list of favorite people just for being allergic to pickles. I fucking hate pickles with all my heart. Like I can't I if if like pickles so okay all right first pickles stain food that's my problem with them is like yeah you, if pickles are on your burger just take them off oh i can but it's my burger still tastes like pickles they leave yeah, yeah the imprint so, yeah no exactly ex- yeah the gross <laughs> ass just in it's like a scarlet a on my burger yes. you know it's gonna taste <laughs> like shit now um when did you find out you were allergic to pickles? Like, the, literally, the, so the first time you had them? Um, or was it, like, an onset thing? See, my mom, like, hates them, mm-hmm. so I never had them growing up. Okay. But um, I noticed, like, I would get a weird reaction when I had anything with them. And so yeah. I was, like, with a friend. I was 12, maybe. And I decided I was going to eat a whole pickle because I <laughs> yeah. just wanted to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ate a whole pickle, like, end to end. And then I got a reaction. And I was like, well, all right. That's cool. Mm. But I was like, but am I allergic to cucumbers? So I waited a while and then I ate a cucumber and it was confirmed I'm allergic to both. Wow. That's wild. So damn. So like, it, so like if someone put them on your eyes at like a massage place, would you break out or is it? You yeah. Have to them? I would get like hives from it for sure. That's wild. I've been thinking about this a lot because I grew up a really picky eater. Like okay. I branched out more as I've grown up and I like like. There's a point in my life, and you can ask Zach because he's known me forever, where, like, I would eat, like, pizza, bacon, and, and like, plain cheeseburgers. And that was all <laughs> you could feed me. And I was, like, 45 pounds and, like, six feet tall. So, like, I was just a weird-looking human. Um, I started to think as I try, like, I'll be like, oh, first time trying this. Like, basic-ass shit, you know? Like, um, I, 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 like, I, like, what if I'm just deathly allergic to one of these things <laughs> that I've never tried? And I just... <laughs> fucks me up you get taken out for like mustard <laughs> yeah no <laughs> i hate mustard's another thing i hate too I get and that. then but like i like i had scallops for the first time like okay. a couple weeks ago and like they were they're were all right um 
But I just, I, as I ate it, I was like, what if I just break out just mad hot? Like, I've been allergic to scallops my whole life and <laughs> had no idea. Because I think, unfortunately, if that happened, I would significantly stop trying food. Right. Like, it would decrease so much out of just fear yeah. that I was somehow allergic to, like, the next thing I tried. I get that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, so... One was the peanut butter vanilla froyo. What was your number two favorite dessert? Number two, I love green tea ice cream. Okay. That hits. Different. Okay, I respect it. I, I wish I liked green tea ice cream, but I, but I hate it. Really? I, okay. Ironically, if at the start of this podcast, I was in fact drinking a cup of tea, but I can only drink like like black tea because okay. it's sweeter. So like I, I have, I, I, I like this one tea a lot, and Amazon sold like. They're like boxes of 50, but they sold like 15 of them for like 20 bucks. So I have like 500 tea bags of just, it's called vanilla. God, I do this thing where I, where I say words wrong on purpose (laughs) and I don't know how to say it correctly. Uh, Macaroon is, is it macaroon is how you really say it? Or is it macaroon? I can't remember what's the real way to say it. macaroon. Okay. I say macaroon. And so it's macaroon. It's vanilla bean macaroon tea. And like, that's good to me because it's, it's sweet. And I also appreciate, I put. I put creamer in my okay in my tea. I'm just I'm I, You're I'm just enjoying a piece your of Sunday. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is is I liked coffee and I definitely okay. drink my coffee blonde, but coffee not to be vulgar makes me <laughs> shit my pants immediately <laughs> several times that day. Oh I'm sorry God. to get vulgar, but <laughs> it like became a point where I was like I would rather just be tired. It's not than worth like, the pain. No, exactly. It's not like it was. It was like it was just ruining my. It was messing up my whole day. Having a cup of coffee. <laughs> tea doesn't do that, but I'm very... I pretty much just am drinking, like, half tea, half creamer. Yeah. So, because I like the, 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 the... Whatever flavor tea is. Like, you can picture tea. I don't know how to describe it, but that right. flavor of tea, I hate. I get Which that. is makes no sense at why I like tea. Right. So, I don't like green tea ice cream, but I get... I feel like I wish I could like it, because I feel like you can eat it and not feel like a piece of shit like, yeah it's a lighter dessert it's refreshing yeah, i get it after yeah. sushi like all you can eat sushi they oh, have it there yeah. and i feel like i just ate a thousand pieces of sushi mm-hmm. but like i had green tea ice cream so balance <laughs> like i'm healthy yeah the body cleanse cleanse <laughs> tea cleanse i'm good balance for sure yeah okay that's okay yeah so i'm not even hating on green tea guys but i just I don't like green tea to drink. Okay. But yeah. the ice cream hits different okay. for sure. Maybe and here's the thing, I haven't had it in years, so it might be something that now is like a, a might have opened up. To yeah, it. I might like it now. Um, what's your third favorite? Third favorite, probably um just leches. Mm, that's so it. good. That my, that's my dad's favorite cake, so my mom makes it all the time. Oh really? And and uh it's uh I, I like that a lot. I love it. It's I use my grandma's recipe and it's mm, my favorite thing ever. That's awesome. Um, passed down recipes are just so much better than like oh, anything for you can sure. look up online. For Especially sure. Especially the like nostalgia factor too yeah. and all that. I uh, trust that cheese is good and but I get why people could hate it because the texture is weird. Oh yeah, the spongy it's, milky. and it moist like and it, yeah, it's like a wet cake which yeah. is very a, a weird concept because I. Like I said, I'm picky, and mm-hmm. texture is a thing that oh, always I gets me. You. But Tres Leches cake, I'm I'm completely fine with. I yeah. love it. It's good. Now I fucking I want some right now. You gotta, <laughs> I can picture how good it tastes. Um, what's your least favorite dessert? Least favorite? Um, honestly, I think tapioca is just tapioca? disgusting. Okay, it's like yeah. I don't know. It's it's a weird like you're so like tapioca pudding or just anything tapioca flavor? anything tapioca at okay. all but i think pudding is really like a special type of just like demonic it's yeah. disgusting no nah, that okay so i i can respect like the like the bread pudding and the more like and the the like southern puddings where they'll have like fruit and stuff in it right um okay. but like pudding like basic pudding is a weak ass dessert my, my yeah. least favorite is jello so like, like jello that. and pudding are very similar where uh-huh. it's just like like honest to god i would rather just not have dessert whatsoever than eat either of those they're not yeah i don't know I don't, jello to me i always say is jello is for is for old people taking their medicine yes like that's it's <laughs> meant for nursing homes and there's a reason they serve it to people whose taste buds have died yeah like, it's just 
you know, here's something bland and jiggly. Yeah, the tech that's another texture one that's really, really gross too. Disgusting. I'm not a fan of that. I okay. don't like that it jiggles. Yeah, no, it uh it's weird yeah, and I don't know, and I know there's like I know you could put fruit in it and make it like a little more jazzed up, but it's literally just like water and sugar that you like mold yeah. and like like freeze or whatever. So it's just it's a it's gross too. Like I know dessert's very sugary, but for me to just eat like sugar and water, you it, gotta like hide it more. Yeah, no, <laughs> it, exactly. There in. needs to be more to it than just yeah. here's your jiggly square of lime. Yes. Like lime jello. Who 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 wakes up and is like, you know what I want today? <laughs> lime jello, and that's their shit. Those are weird people. I can't respect them. Yeah, either. Um. Okay, that was the uh, avid deserter segment, guys. We're gonna uh, talk a little more about your modeling now. I wanted to know now what are some of the worst gigs that you've done? If there's one in particular Ooh. that you can think of and tell us about, I'd love to hear it. Um, honestly, so the worst ones I would say are like the unorganized ones, just for the reason that you're kind of just stuck there. Yeah, and then um. <coughs> Honestly, I think the worst was probably I worked an event with Harley once at a different location. Yeah, it was in Riverside, and um, it was just very empty, dead. But we had to stand there like mannequins and just be like, "Hi, like, yeah, you want some food?" And there's this guy making me super uncomfortable. Just mm -hmm. one customer, and my job was to pass out pancakes. Yeah, so I was like, he came up, and I was like, "Oh, great!" Like, I have to talk to him. So I had like a spatula with a pancake ready. He's holding his plate. And I was just trying to flip the pancake on yeah. his plate and he would not leave me alone. And so I was sitting there with a pancake for 20 minutes and I was like, I'm going to get an arm cramp. Like, I just <laughs> want to throw this across the room. I feel like it's a weird gig too that like whatever it was is they're like, all right, we're going to sell motorcycles. We're going to have models and we're going to have pancakes. pancakes. Yes. Like, it, that is a very weird audience demographic yeah. of people who are like, are like, Bro, did you hear models, pancakes, and Harleys? Fuck yeah, let's go. Yeah. Like a weird group <laughs> of people. Exactly. It was just very uncomfortable. And then he wouldn't leave me alone, and he offered to buy me a bike. And I was like, I don't know how to ride a bicycle, so like, I don't know, dude. You should have just had him buy it and then sold it to someone at the next modeling thing you did. Honestly, that would have been smart. I wasn't using just, my head. You're smart, though, for saying no, because there would have been so much more that came with. Oh, my God. It would have came with, like, because if you were, like, he wasn't just going to give you the bike and leave you alone. Oh, no. Yeah, he was, like, like. I, which again like you know i'm gonna get a little vulgar but he probably <laughs> thought that he's like i can buy this bike and she'll sleep with me right which is just like is is honestly kind of pathetic <laughs> holy fuck man i don't know look i actually genuinely have no idea how much a motor you could tell me it could be six thousand it could be sixty thousand i have no idea yeah a new but, harley is almost like a new car yeah that's too much money to spend on no offense to you t on anyone oh no to get laid on any, <laughs> that's so much money twenty thousand dollars sir do you know how much a prostitute costs <laughs> like go buy one there's they're on the corners of places you can find them like yeah. don't spend twenty thousand dollars exactly just financially irresponsible he was like trying to get me to meet up with him when i was off and i was just like i have to be nice but yeah. i was just like no like with a big smile on my face yeah. like leave me alone <laughs> and then he said his comment i forgot how he worded it but he basically was like well if you're not going to ride a new bike home you can ride me home mm. and i was like i want to scream <laughs> and then i looked at his bike and i was like you drive a trike like don't yeah. not talk to me <laughs> that's hilarious hey how many times do you think he struck out with that line? <laughs> <laughs> At That's least not the first time 20. he's used that, and I promise it you so it's rehearsed. not worked. Yeah. Wow. I think he thinks about it on his ride to the dealership. He's like, yeah, it's going to work today. <laughs> I like to think that, that, like, I don't know what this guy looks like, but I like to imagine that, like, he was somewhere <laughs> and he was like, he had, like, a good idea and he pulled out his little notebook and was like, don't got a bike ride me instead <laughs> and like put like like quotes like parentheses like we'll star. get you pussy <laughs> use next time and he's like i'm for sure gonna get laid with that one the gold star ah oh, god i just look i just pray to god that 
like if Erica leaves me eventually and I end up being a lonely old man that I just never turn into that. But the you problem know? is, is I have the genetics and look to fit right into that crowd. <laughs> It grouped. Yeah, I could eat. I can very. I'm very easily like one divorce away from living <laughs> that exact fucking it's life. It's an alternate universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a few bad choices away from me. That's gonna be my motivation in life to always work hard and like be a good boyfriend. Is just knowing that I'm one step away from that <laughs> at any moment. God, yeah, that's that's that. I I, I kind of figured that like whatever some of the worst gigs were were gonna kind of involve your like clients and people being yeah. weird with you and stuff they're a little like that. creepy for and sure. so that's so so at these events there's no one really there like to like kind of shoo them away besides maybe like I, we i met the the insurance law firm guy or right whatever, besides him and i mean he i was i was I forgot what i was telling but he is a. Uh, He's like a ve- he seems like a great salesman. He was a very yeah. smooth like he was He's like you so guys are family nice. now. Yeah. If you ever get in a motorcycle accident, I was like I don't think I can ride a, mo- ride a motorcycle more than three feet. But like. <laughs> cool yeah. thank you man like i appreciate it and so like you i i'm sure that he's very good at like if a guy's aggressive he's like hey man there's no need to get aggressive let me buy you yeah. a beer like come over here and stuff like no, that no for sure um shark squad those events mm-hmm. we do have more people like taking care of us yeah so the guy you met is our main attorney he's so good to us so nice yeah he's always just there to talk to the clients and whatnot and then we have another guy who takes care of us and then um, my boss's husband works for the company, and he's always really good about keeping us safe, too. So with that company, there's definitely, like, there's more beefed-up security. Yeah. And they just kind of have us, like, go walk around somewhere else if there's someone lingering. Really good about it. Harley, we have, um, like, my boss is there and whatnot, and she'll, like, yeah. shoo them away if they're being too much. Mm-hmm. But we have the sales guys, too. They kind of just try to, like... Okay shoe them and whatnot at riverside it was a bigger deal because we weren't allowed to interact with the salesman whatsoever so i kind of like had to like give them that like screaming for help in my eyes (laughs) and hope somebody saw it yeah but at huntington they're really cool about it they really take care of us that's cool um like because we've talked about obviously like the creepy guys and the weird stuff how like if you had to like give some ballpark how uh, like is it every event there's an incident like that or is it like every once in a while what's kind of the frequency i suppose of like kind of weird shit happening at these gigs i would say every other you know every other not every event but there's always a weirdo yeah and like you said i'm sure by now just like a heckler in comedy and stuff you get kind of used to it and like i'm sure you can almost spot them from a mile away and you just kind of know how to get them away and stuff so that's a good skill to have. You know? I try. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is this is something I was thinking about too. What uh, because you know, I, so, a lot of people are listening probably you know don't know a lot about modeling. What do you think, like the hardest part of modeling, like doing these mm-hmm. things? Is it like, is it the the time that you know you have to put in stuff for your appearance and all that? What what kind of do you think is the hardest part? Um, honestly, it's just staying consistent is mm-hmm. really hard. Um. I mean, there's a lot of girls who do modeling. It's their side job. Yeah. So it's not as much of an upkeep. I mean, they still definitely have to work and they have to, you know, keep up their appearance. But yeah. I feel like when it's your full time job, you really you have to be on it. You have to be on Instagram. You have to be posting. Yeah. You have to stay relevant. Yeah. Like that's really hard because like the algorithm on Instagram is whack. It's weird. Yeah. I got to Like I have to do that shit with like stories mm-hmm. for comedy and the po- yes. podcast and other shit that I do. And. And it's such a weird algorithm. Like, they want you to post a certain amount of times to stay at the front of people's yeah. stories. But if you post too much, you move too far. Like, it's so... Yeah. It's annoying is what it is. And it's, then it sucks for your followers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there's times where it's like... Like, I know I'm like, ah, like, I'm probably fucking posting a lot and they probably don't care. But, like, <laughs> I kind of have to so that yeah. some people will see my stuff and check it out. It's the same way for me. Um, I tell everybody when they follow me, like, I post every day. Just know yeah. that. I don't like to post on my feed every day. I think mm-hmm. that's a little much. Mm-hmm. And I just don't want to post that many photos. But um, stories every day. Just it keeps your name up and then you get more Ex- views. Yeah. You get paid. Um but when I have taken a break, it's like, you know, my posts won't get that many likes that I need to get paid. And yeah. then I kind of suffer out of a check. So yeah. it kind of sucks there. You just have to stay relevant, honestly. And um, yeah, everyone fucking go follow content. her and like 
your <laughs> photo now because we're both like art or like we do art forms or whatever the fuck we call it, with the <laughs> shit that we do i tell dick jokes and <laughs> you're a model so like you know we're not one and the same at all but um i will now make sure i like every post because i now <laughs> know that, that it that it helps you because i'm yeah i'm a, i'm a, i'm gonna be honest i'm such like for people who really care about likes i'm such a terrible follower <laughs> I don't like anything. And I fucking, I scroll so fast right. too. Like Erica will watch me scroll and she's like, do you even know what you've been <laughs> looking at? Like, how do you see anything? And I go, I pretty much scroll till something in my brain goes stop. And then I see whatever that is. But yeah, sometimes it's just like, shh, shh, like so right. fast. So, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I get you that staying relevant. And then also like, yeah, the, you made such a good point with like you don't want to like annoy people because mm-hmm. for like a minute I was posting like like I do, you know, a clip for each podcast. I'd post the reels on my main page and then I was like, you know, people are probably getting tired of like every week or, you know, twice a week seeing two different podcast clips because right. there's people that support the podcast and I appreciate them. And there's people that I know don't give a fuck about my podcast, don't like podcasts. And it's probably annoying for them to see. <laughs> so it's like, I just was found I was like, yeah, this is going to like piss people off. And then my feed just becomes all clips. And so then, right. you know, you know, you, you, like, you go to follow someone and you're like, oh, all he does is post clips. Like I, yeah. that sounds annoying because I totally follow those people where you're like, oh, this is the 18th. Like the, the people <laughs> who like post like memes on their oh my main gosh. feed. I'm like, do you not understand the internet? <laughs> <laughs> embarrassing is the perfect way to put it because <laughs> you're so right you just kind of look at it and you're like like d- d- you're do i need to teach you how to use this app like you're yeah. 21 not 45 this isn't acceptable for you it's to be posting Facebook. like my mom yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's so funny um all right we're gonna move into the uh, another segment this one is the dumbass of the week brought to you by red foreman dumbass dumbasses dumbass 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 the dumbass of this week of the week this week guys we have two of them a very special one the first one is uh i put down the seltzer game because <laughs> all these seltzers are making these high end like the the higher alcohol content right. seltzers like the 11 percent ones and everyone's acting like it's this new profound thing and we gotta pay respect to four locos yeah. Have you? I I, uh, I I feel like you've had a four loco in your life. Have, have, have not you had, enjoyably. They're not <laughs> great, and anytime you drink them, you're gonna black out. For sure. And they're just. I, there was a point in college because they're cheap. Like I understand why. <laughs> like I was broke in college, you know, living off the yeah. stipend and shit, and I could get two four locos for five dollars, yeah. and I could be hammered on budget them. and they taste like rat poison yeah they're battery s- acid they're so bad yeah they are so gross but something in them chemically just turns you into an animal and you <laughs> black out and you do dumb shit like i yeah. i don't know i and, and so i just think it's i think it's funny that like because even i saw like you know how like uh like twitter pages like like to be cute and already like right. some, yeah like four loco clap back at them and it was like <laughs> That we're like pay respect to your elders and i was like i get that like all these all these 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 kids like today aren't gonna experience a four loco hangover it. blackout combo nothing's worse than the blackout from shotgun in a four loco oh that my god deadly. you shotgun a four loco <laughs> Once. what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> a lot <laughs> you fucking animal <laughs> That's some barbarian Viking shit. I was 16, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You there is a uh, a year of your life that you're not going to be able to remember when yeah. you're 40 and and you're got to call that your four loco year because it erased part of your brain. Yeah, gone. Yeah. Oh god. Some <laughs> yeah, four locos, man. They just are so aggressive. And they make you, yeah. I have this. So I, the first four loco I had, I was in Seattle, Washington, okay, um, visiting our friend Jordan, and uh, I got, you know, basically like blackout drunk on him, and mm-hmm. then I was up there, and the guys was before Erica, and I had met this girl the night before, and she was like, "Come to this other party," and she was like, "We're in blah blah blah," and I'm not from Seattle, and I just yeah. took off 
walking by myself through Saddle, Washington, and I didn't tell Jordan where I went or anything. So I'm walking around the streets with a four loco in my hand. Classy. And this is going to be bad. And, and I'm going to say allegedly because I don't understand it. But I allegedly then threw the four loco at a car at one point because they honked at me and I was <laughs> fucked up. And I, th- and, I, and I threw a four loco at a car. So. You were the fifth loco. <laughs> The fifth oh logo, God. yes. <laughs> That's exactly what I was. Yeah, I like. I mean, you know me somewhat. I, you know, w- yeah. Maybe I get a little, a little crazy when I drink, but that is like so not something I would ever do in the right state of right. mind. And it's a testament <laughs> to what chemically these four locos unlock yes, in you. They do. It's a new person. Now, here's the thing, though. I now have a job, and I now make money. I will never drink a four loco again. Ever. I won't drink one when I'm 30 because my other friends when we're 30 go, remember when we were young, we should have four loco. No. No, no, I no, don't no. remember because I drank four loco. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I don't want That memory is gone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's going to turn into like a repressed memory. You're going to yes. like, you're going to be like 20 years after that. You're like, I did have a four loco. I remember now. <laughs> nostalgia uh yeah okay and then the other dumbass of the week is uh ben shapiro did you see ben shapiro's home depot visit no okay cool so i have a link here that i'm gonna show you can you see the laptop yeah for anyone watching um you can uh you can i will have it like photoshop between us and for anyone who is listening i will explain it to you so this guy is like a big like all like all like alt right guy, you know, like hates hate like big Trumper right. Republican. I don't know why the image is gone. Can you here I'll zoom in. And he put up a video where he's like, Okay, everyone needs to only support businesses that don't, you know, that support Trump and don't support Biden and are for Republicans and are not for this socialist nation and one of them is Home Depot. And then he talked about how and then he posed for this picture this motherfucker bought one board and just put it in a bath and that was <laughs> his trip to home depot <laughs> and it's it's just like dude like okay whatever i i like you know i try to stay out of, like try not to make this too political and like whatever your view is whatever i well, you're trying to prove a point but like how do you think that this isn't some idiotic point that like just to have a thing in a bag i want to see if i can find the actual video of him talking i guess i could have been more prepared and done that guys but um nope it's just one of these stupid articles that is like gonna make me read fifty thousand things and never show me it but yeah so that was he wins the other dumbass of the week because i don't i just i i the, the border, bag the, gets me. It, it's <laughs> comical. It's so funny. And this other guy put up like this comic, so, like had like long this long black like plastic tubing. I don't even know. Like it like vacuum like an industrial. Yeah. And he like put it in like a bag. And now everyone's putting weird shit in <laughs> Home Depot bags and being like, "Look what I bought at <laughs> Home Depot today." And it's just I don't know. It it brings me back to these things where I just think it's so funny how much. And we're going to we're going to be there one day. We're like the 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 age group above us doesn't understand what the <laughs> fuck the younger group likes and does because right. like you got to understand you're going to get memed for that. Oh, like for sure. you don't even need to post that you bought anything. Just insinuate that you did is so much better than a <laughs> single board in a bag. What are you going to do with that? Also, you're not supporting the business. A piece of wood like that is like $4. Right. I don't I don't know. And I think it's funny because like he was like he was talking about how like I, like Home Depot did donate a bunch of money and stuff like that. But this guy, like, hates minorities and shit. And I feel like <laughs> Home Depot, like, Home Depot is synonymous with, like, a bunch of minorities sitting outside yeah. trying to get work any way they can. And so it's, like, it's it, it's kind of ironic that of all places, that's the one that he, like, right. took his, like, Trumper stance on. Because it's, like, borderline very un-Trump. <laughs> like, like, you think that he would be there being like, fuck Home Depot, like, we need to deport everyone in right. front of Home Like, some shit like that. Instead, he's buying a single board. Just one board. Yeah. I want to know what he did with it. I know. Personally. Oh, God. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe, yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's going to do with one single board. He probably just put it in a room and I don't know. You know what's hilarious is I bet you he could sell that board for a lot of money. Oh, for like sure. Like he could he could be like Ben Shapiro's Home Depot board and sign it. And and like if I had like an ass fuck amount of money, I would just buy that shit. Just get it. Frame yeah. It. Yeah. Because we were I've been talking about those NFTs too. like how everyone just sells <laughs> pictures of shit. Yeah. That's like that's my first I think like I'm um, getting older thing I don't understand because I really don't understand it. I honestly can't wrap my head around it either. I, I don't get it. Like because it's because it doesn't make sense because it's like, I mean, couldn't we make couldn't this be an NFT right here? Yeah. And and <laughs> like what sets the market for the I don't know. I'm just I'm not gonna I don't think I'm ever gonna understand at this point. Um. Okay, guys, that was the dumbass of the week brought to you by red foreman before we move into the final two segments um okay because we're just talking about feeling old can you believe that the other day was the 20th anniversary of shrek coming out that's insane that one hurt my feelings that one that one i was like ah you fuckers like that really makes me feel so old yeah i was not i just felt so gross like, were you a big <laughs> fan of shrek growing up i loved the second one the second one Superior. is fire the first like i love the first one and then the second one just like i don't really know something off. about it like for months i used to bump live in la vida loca because oh, they yeah. sing it in there like that was the first time i ever heard i used to literally have the shrek soundtrack on cd <laughs> in my mom's car like that's how much we it had all star on it too you for know sure. and so like i those movies are fantastic. That might be a movie where the uh, the sequel is better than the than the original. Honestly, with no yeah. disrespect <laughs> to the original, because we uh, like I talk about this a lot with other people. Just that it's there's not a lot of movies. Like I think I I personally think Ted Two's better than the first Ted, but yeah. like like The Hangover, the first one's better. Like there's so many movies that the the sequels are shit shows so I, yeah for sure it's one thing for them to have a competent sequel but it's insane when the sequels to me is so better. much better so, and the ones after weren't good either no the third one's weird and then there's like i don't even know what the, the only part one. that got me about the fourth one was that kid that says do the do roar, the roar. <laughs> That shit's like icon- that was my sister's text message tone for so oh long God. a couple years ago. Like we'd be singing around and just hear like she get a text like do the roar, do the roar like all the time. Oh, cry. Do you remember when you uh the OG phones like the flip phones when you could record ringtones? Yes. Did um this is a good one because again like Zach's just been my friend since like, we were like infants so all my a lot of my shit is with him. Um, has he ever showed you um Aladdin from Compton? No. <laughs> you need to you need to watch <laughs> you need to watch this with him. Guys, if you're listening, you should go check it out. It's a video that came out when like YouTube first was YouTube like we were in like 3rd, 4th grade oh, and shit. someone just dubs over the scene of like Aladdin and Abu going in the big sphinx <laughs> to get the gold and it's just that Aladdin is like a crackhead and, and like the guy voice and he's like, "Hey man, what the fuck is up man? How you doing? I'm Aladdin like I'm on crack." And we thought it was so funny and there's this part where like this guy comes out and he's and then the voice of he goes y'all want some crack <laughs> and that was me and zach's ringtone so people would call us and go y'all want some crack y'all I'm want some surprised. crack over and over we had the uh we had the cartman uh the south park one kyle's mom is a bitch have you heard that one no <laughs> there's like there's like he like hates kyle's mom in a season and then there's like a montage breakout and it's like kyle's mom is a big fat bitch she's the biggest bitch in the whole oh wide world God. she's stupid bitch, <laughs> girl's a bitch. now boys and girls duh, duh, duh. and that was like those were our ringtones like that was so cool i can't believe apple hasn't done something right. to like let us i guess like for copyright shit but i don't know it's kind of weird how like custom ringtones have died because it was right. a, it was I used to always have some weird ringtone as like my as when anyone called me. Remember the ring back tones that would play like when someone yeah. called you? <laughs> Yo, my grandma still has no it. way. It plays the dun 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 dun. But for I mean even until like a year or two ago, like every so often you would call and you're like, oh, it's a new dial tone. A new yes. Which like I never did. You have to pay for those. I think so. That is just financially irresponsible. Yeah. It's just a waste of money. Like I don't. You're mm-hmm. calling me. Listen to it ring. You're, <laughs> it's thirty seconds. But I mean, I guess I appreciate it and and I get the novelty of it. But 
it uh that was a weird time too that one i'm not surprised that that's dead now i just feel like it was so unnecessary 100 <laughs> percent. it did not ever need to be like i didn't need to listen to your favorite song or whatever i'm screening your call why am i gonna make it more enjoyable for you <laughs> <laughs> exactly and then like no like i think it'd be worse if i if like you call if i called you and let's see yours was like a techno <laughs> song and it was like you it was like bump Y'all ready for this? <laughs> burm, burm, burm. Three, two, one. Hello. I'd be like, what the fuck? Hang up the phone, Ari. I missed the drop. Yeah, God I damn was it. Like, yeah, that shit would suck just losing it halfway through. You're not you're like, I'm not even at the best part. I'm going to hang up. Don't answer for at least 20 seconds. Like, I want to listen to this song. Right. Got a vibe. Um, and then um, I was I was curious because I remember Zach just recently watched this. So I didn't know if you watched it with him. Did, have you watched How I Met Your Mother? Yes. Did you hear they they greenlit a, a How I Met Your Father? I finally? just told him that the other day and we were both like, that is so dumb. Yeah. OK, so I don't know if you know this. They actually filmed a pilot episode for How I Met Your Father. And wow. and I know about it because I, I want to say it was comedian Andrew Santino, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I heard a comic talk about on a podcast how he was in the pilot and it had to do with like it was like there was the main mom and her like best friends were like two gay guys. And he like filmed the pilot and then he said he got to watch it and he said it was one of the worst <laughs> things he had ever seen in oh his life. God. And and I ended up trying to read about it and it's like a very wide known thing on the internet that it was like, yeah, like they ran a pilot and it was received so bad that like it like there's a few ways to find it on the internet, but they've tried their hardest to like scrub right. the internet of it. So we're getting um the sequel and Hillary Duff is starring. Yeah, in it. I saw that. I don't like I don't really like I know who Hillary Duff is, but I don't right. really know who like which was, was she was a child actress. Was she in stuff? She or? was like Disney. She Di had okay. Lizzie McGuire. Oh, and, um, okay, 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 okay. Stuff like that. She did music. She was in a Cinderella story with like my OG crush, Child Michael Murray. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. That makes kind of more sense. Wow. I'm going to kill myself on this podcast if the Angels lose in the ninth <laughs> again. Like, I, I'm going to just, it's going to happen. I'm going to do it live on air. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be good. I can't. Honestly, I think How I Met Your Mother went downhill, too. Okay. In the end season. Without, because I, like, I feel like we shouldn't spoil the ending. So we'll just right. talk in very, like, <laughs> vagueness. It's one of the worst endings to a show. And I and yes. I truly, and I'm, I know sometimes I'm dramatic on the podcast and everything is the plot <laughs> and, I, and I'm selling it. Yes. But double play to win the game. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Everyone who's listening, this games there'll be four more games played before they listen to this. I'm sure they fucking hate when I watch sports while I do this, but I don't care. It's my podcast. It is truly one of the worst endings I have ever sure. seen. Um, because, and here's okay. Here's the three frustrate me for why it's frustrating. One, I love the 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 mom that mm -hmm. they bring in right love her uh, that actress like um uh like she like i i used to have like the biggest crush on her really? when i watched it so like i don't know like because it's uh, like I, I understand that she's not like a megan fox type thing right. but like for some reason i was like in love she's with her. so cute like that's like, yeah she's very like adorable yeah she's like precious she, and and in t i think i like erica points it out as, as she she's like i think she always says like because she'll be like do you think that girl's hot and i'm like yeah or, yeah or no and mm -hmm. she's like you have such a type and i think that there's the same thing about erica is that like she's like very like cute and like yeah. she looks small on camera like yeah, yeah like and i think that i'm like i'm like oh like that's like my type right. is like i don't think i would do well with a girl as tall as me <laughs> even though there's not probably very many but like a tall i think a tall girl would intimidate you don't me. want a girl that can like dunk on you yeah no i'm not trying to lose <laughs> i like i like that i can beat erica in all physical activities it's great for my ego um but okay so i loved her so i was like very mad with like what they did with that right also who ends up being the mother? They knew this from the first episode. Yeah. It was determined. And I know they probably kept it secret from some people. That's what's infuriating is they wrote themselves into such a corner that 
who what ends up happening to be the mother is so unrealistic. Yeah. It makes no sense. It it ruins it ruins character development of like other characters. Yes. It makes the dynamic of the group why would that ever be a group it now after that? It wouldn't happen, yeah. And they they made it such a thing that like that they were not going to get married like for so long. I'm giving spoilers, but I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. But like that it makes no sense that you somehow like it, it was such a terribly written ending. It was, it was like so terrible. Nine seasons. Nine, yeah. Nine. So it was like what eight seasons straight of why they shouldn't be yes. together. Yes, and then and then they introduced the mother. Right. Um. All right, guys. I'm gonna fucking spoil it. So just <laughs> if skip ahead three minutes or something <laughs> because I'm tired. The fact that they make Robin marry Barney. Yeah. His best friend. He constantly is always like, like they're they're It's so their dynamic is they're all three friends and they make Robin and Ted so wrong for each other. Right. They make us wait eight seasons. They introduce us to that mother the and then she dies. Yeah. And then it ends with the kids telling him to go marry Robin. Their aunt Robin. Their aunt Robin. Yeah. Who like he refers to his aunt Robin for eight seasons i didn't even i didn't even think about that well, yeah that's so true makes no sense and also how the fuck the eight the ninth season takes place in real time over three days and it's 24 episodes yeah too long like the marshall singing nursery rhymes i could have done without and that here's was the best so part long. isn't the whole season about Barney and Robin's wedding? Yeah. And then he marries Robin? Shut the fuck yeah. up. And and the reason why I give them no excuse is you wrote this ending. So why did you make Robin and them? Okay, oh, what? You wanted to have the comeback to love story? That's fine. Whatever. They break up after a few seasons. Why did you have them like basically become like they like almost are like not they can't be in the same room together yeah and then uh it just made me mad and like the corny ass blue trumpet like i was just like yeah. oh like he probably thought this was so smart nine years ago and then you you ruined you ruined it though like you it was your idea and you fucked it up yeah so i don't know i i just the show is so good it was. It was but really good. But it's not even like in my top five of sitcoms because of how terrible yeah. it is. Have you ever seen that they actually, when they released the ninth season on DVD, because it had such negative reviews, <laughs> they did an alternate ending. Really? Yeah. And the alternate ending is, is they just like, like, you know how like they kind of, ra- they like show that Ted and, and, uh, and, and that girl get married or whatever. Right. I forget her name, but like the, 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 the short, adorable name. girl with right. the eyes, whatever name, Kristen Milotti is her name. The baby mama. Yeah. yeah. Chris, so then like, they're like, and they, and then, you know, they're like, they're happy. And it's like, but unfortunately she got sick instead. Like, it's just the Elton and he's like, and they lived happily ever <laughs> after. And I was like, congrats. That was so much better than the other. Would have been happy wrote. with it. And like the thing too is, is like. Yeah, I know they pre-filmed with those kids where they're like, go get her, go. Right. Didn't, that wasn't even that cool of a scene. Like, you could have no. just left it out. Like, you didn't have to have this big, like, we made the end. Like, it was just dumb. Yeah. It, they really, really fucked that up. No, for sure. Um. Okay, guys. We're going to move into um, the final segments here and wrap up the podcast. This one is the actual would you rather segment of the podcast, the longest running one. So, I'm going to ask you two more would you rather. Okay. So, the first one is would you rather date a convict who murdered two people but got off on like a tech like he got off a technicality like you're marrying like almost an oj-esque person where you're like i know you did this (laughs) or would you rather date a porn star with a hundred bodies so like johnny sins type (laughs) like like you know what i mean so you want the murderer or Uh, like just the the porn star that like you're like walking down the street and they're like Oh my God, Johnny! Can I get a picture with you? I loved you in Backdoor Sluts <laughs> Nine. I feel like I do better with a porn star because <laughs> he's not gonna kill me. Yeah, I mean, like it worked. Like, like yeah, he's got some <laughs> some mileage. But you know, porn stars like do a lot of testing, so he's probably clean. I feel like it would be platonic. Yeah, I would not touch him ever. <laughs> but. <laughs> But he won't murder me, so we're solid. I mean, yeah, and like you know, with the porn star, you might get a good lay. With the murderer, you might, might die. Yeah, you <laughs> might die. So, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the <laughs> with the with the porn star too. I just would not. I just don't want to be murdered. I'd rather not. <laughs> yeah. so, you guys might be shocked to hear this. We <laughs> don't want to get murdered. You know. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, so then the next one is is. <laughs> This is a ridiculous one, and it made me kind of think of uh, your boyfriend. So, would you rather be protected by drunk, violent Batman or brain damaged Superman? Oh so, my god! The brain damaged Superman is what made me think of Zach. If you couldn't <laughs> figure out which one, um, but drunk, violent Batman, like I feel like he saves you from like oh, a guy steals your purse, he saves you, but then he right. probably like kicks the guy's head in in front of you right so you gotta watch that and then he might hit you with the like wh- you don't have a r- either ride my batmobile or ride me home <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and you're kind of stuck there now my problem with brain damage superman right. is what if he's saving you he has an episode and halfway through he goes you're the bad guy now <laughs> right now you're fucked See uh, what and like what mm. if he just is what if he's what if he saves you all romantic he picks yeah. you up in his arm <laughs> and he's flying you home and you just kind of see him do something and he's like I forgot how to fly and he's just now Drops. falling because he has like severe <laughs> severe brain damage so You're I don't fucked. I don't know which one these are both not a great option I feel like I feel like Batman because he's more of a bougie boy yeah i feel like he has like a lot of cool things he could like protect you with because he <laughs> yeah. just buys things because he's has like an empty life i also feel like if worse came to worse like let's say like like let's say both of them they are like he's on a drunk episode or he's on a brain damage episode and they both take you with them like they're like <laughs> you're my girl now Fuck. i feel like you could kill batman he's yeah. just a rich guy get him in his sleep get him a few bourbons and just yeah. fucking smother his shit that's what i kind of thought put him in the like... batmobile and, <laughs> and drive it off a, put an autopilot for like the Frades river and then let it drive yeah into the river. albert will back you up yeah it's albert's fine. albert's like he has been beating me for years <laughs> thank you so much you freed yeah. me yeah I would go with Batman just yeah. because I could fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like to picture? Yeah, have you seen Forty Year Old Virgin? Yes. You know when they're fucked up driving to that 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 like the like Britney I don't even know if Britney Spears the Indian ass beat song in the car and they're <laughs> fucked up and they're like bam 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 and he's she's just swerving. I like to imagine you riding shotgun <laughs> in the Batmobile and he's just fucked up like going a hundred swerving you're like can you slow down batman and he's like shut up i know what the <laughs> fuck i'm doing i drive drunk all the time this is my city i that saved be... you but i'm gonna kill you yeah <laughs> that would be yeah all right i'm gonna go with drunk batman with you too just because you could probably like get some money out of him too you know, like you could hustle. be like batman you want me to go get you get us some tacos and he'd be like hell yeah how much money do you need and you're like uh, um a million and he's like okay. okay and just and then you just never show back up again you or finesse. you buy like three tacos and then smother him and then you have tacos a million dollars yeah and you killed batman which yeah. is kind of cool a meal for the workout you just had to do yeah for sure i like it i like it okay yeah i'm gonna go with with uh with batman with you too um okay so the last thing i wanted to ask you about modeling and then we're gonna wrap wrap up the podcast with the final segment is um how do you prepare for a gig and do you get nervous? Cause like, obviously it's, I get very nervous when I do comedy and stuff. Do you, yeah. do you get very nervous getting ready to do um, gigs or is it not like that? Cause I guess you're not necessarily performing. If it's a new gig for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, if it's somewhere I haven't really worked or people I haven't worked before, I do get a little nervous. Yeah. I think I get more nervous for shoots. Honestly, those okay. really get my anxiety going. Just yeah. Suits are 50-50. Like, you either look at it and you're like, wow, like, I'm hot. Or you, like, cry for an hour because you're like, this is uh, what I look like. I did headshots, a co- like, a month or two ago. And, like, I was super happy with how they turned yeah. out. But I, like, I go up on stage and I try to convince strangers that I'm funny. And I right. piss people off. And there's people who want to fight me after. There's people who, like, hate me. And they're, like, I offend people. I have never been more uncomfortable than... <laughs> trying to pose for photos because it's like i i've never been i i don't post on you know i'm not a model like i don't i don't <laughs> post on instagram a lot like that's not you know what i mean that's not yeah. my thing is to try and look nice so that. like trying to pose for pictures and like doing that shoot where they're like okay now do this and like do that and can you give me this kind of look and 
all right, what look are you thinking? Like, oh, I <laughs> hated that. Terrible. One of the worst, like, it was such, it was cool. Like, the, you know, the person was cool and all that and, and, and all that. But, like, I totally get how, like, it was, like, sure. I was so nervous and I was so uncomfortable. Yeah. Shoots do get me very nervous just because you don't know how it's going to be. Yeah. And then you don't know what the vibe is going to be. I always bring a friend. Yeah, I like to have music idea. playing. Going to a yeah. shoot alone is scary, so I don't recommend it. But Yeah, no, I totally get you. That's, it's, uh, um, it's nerve-wracking, but it's, like, once you're in the zone, you're kind of in the zone. Like, it's work, you know? Yeah. I would say, nerve-wise, it's just that, um... Prepping for an event and a shoot are a lot of work, both of them, just because you have to think. I mean, a shoot, you have to work out weeks in advance. Yeah. The whole, like, camera ads, 10 pounds things is so true. Oh, yeah, 100. So yeah, true. No, I totally agree with you. So you can be so fit, and then you look at your pictures, and you're like, what, what the hell happened? <laughs> no, exactly. And, like, and like literally, like, the camera angles and everything are so, angles, so important. lighting, like, yes. Like, because I've started to, like, at, like I've been, re- I, I realized this a couple months ago, is, like, I, like, open my camera when I, like, because, you know, you sit down <laughs> looking at your phone. And, like, the amount of double chins I had. And I was just like, yo, do I look this disgusting every time I'm just sitting in public scrolling? Up? <laughs> right. Like, I've tried to start sitting in public with, like, my phone at eye length. So there's, like, like oh, I need to look. I almost look up so I have, like, a jawline and stuff. And I'm like, right. God, like, it's so easy to just, like, have the slightest down angle. And you're like, Seriously. I'm an ogre. Like, I'm disgusting. <laughs> I'm a monster. Yeah. <laughs> I totally no, yeah that's crazy because yeah I think it's crazy that just you know like as like you said you have to like your fitness and like self care is almost yeah. the preparation for a gig and stuff which I I've also I was telling Zach this that I thought it is kind of cool that like you can tell yourself like I have to work out today I have to tan and I gotta yeah. like do a facial routine and you're like this is my business because. Don't get me wrong, like, I can easily do those things, <laughs> and, I, and I've and i wanted to, but because, like, I don't have to, I don't. Like, you right. know, you're like, I, I could do, a, you know, totally I could do, it. I could work out, or I could watch 10 more episodes of How I Met Your Mother. Like, right. But, like, you're like, you have that thing where you're like, nah, I gotta do it, it's for my work, where I'm like, yeah, yeah. like, there's fat comics, like, it doesn't <laughs> fucking matter, like... No, no one is like, oh, you're, you know, you're, you're not skinny anymore. You're not funny. Like that's not going to yeah. happen. So that it's, it's less of an incentive, which is unfortunate. Oh, definitely. It's a lot of physical prep, like yeah. workout summer's coming. So I'm going to have to start tanning like crazy yeah. for bikini events, bikini shoots, yeah. um, makeup. I mean, they're not, I mean, if you have like acne, like they're not going to tell you to go home or that you're ugly, but you're going to be looking at pictures of yourself. So I know if I have breakouts i'm gonna be upset about it yeah so i have to like make sure my skin's good i never eat before an event just that i'm not bloated in pictures yeah no i (laughs) stuff like that so sometimes i suffer like uh, when i work in la havre and i get off at 11 p.m yeah like last wednesday zach was like oh yeah we already ate i was like sick (laughs) yeah and that's, yeah, and that sucks too because it's like no matter what you eat at eleven thirty, it's not going to do your body good. Yeah, unless you it's have not. like a, a, a parfait, like right, which which you smoothie. don't want. Like you're like, I want dinner. Like I haven't yeah. eaten yet. I'm starving. It I've could been really working. going some nachos. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, I literally when I have those when I had the 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 headshots, I did like three face masks like i've never done a <laughs> face mask in my life i was i like banned myself from drinking anything but water right. for like i was like no fast food chicken greens i'll eat after the shoot yeah <laughs> exactly. and literally that's why i was laughing as i was like i that was exactly how i was like this yeah is how you gotta prep for it man um that's how we are like my friends and i work together especially summer events we all like, we're on it we're good we know our routine by now yeah but um whenever we hang out after we eat so much food it is ridiculous yeah. like we have just like a little potluck sometimes mm-hmm. and it's like there's a pizza there's sandwiches Oof. there's beer everywhere chips dips yeah. cookies like we just go crazy absolutely like a disgusting amount of food because you haven't had it you know so we just like we go all out and then we're like all right like we got work again in a week so get it together no no i totally get you but you also like it, it you you deserve those moments for and, sure and, and you because like i like when i when i would finish a football game like i would all the food i would eat after a game and like the beer i'd put <laughs> like just was disgusting but i would always you you felt like you kind of you kind of deserved it's it it's a reward yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> everything in moderation and all that nonsense okay we're gonna move into the final segment wrap things up 
This one's called Your Last Resort Media, where we put the listeners on to like movies, TV shows, all that that you've been watching recently, any music to put people onto a book, a, a blog, anything like that. So mm-hmm. um, for me, guys, this week, I finished Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, it was the season finale, uh, a phenomenal show. I know you guys watched WandaVision. Oh, my God. And uh, WandaVision is <laughs> not as good as this. Movie. It's This movie, this one is not as slow paced because there's unbearable episodes of one, like episode yes. two of WandaVision. The worst. Snorefest. L- yes. It was almost enough for me to stop. Like, I didn't like I think I watched the first episode when it dropped, the mm-hmm. second episode when it dropped, and then three weeks passed before I watched another episode. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to watch i don't know guys something just fell i don't know what that was it's uh, the go- I've been, it's a ghost I've been, I've been declaring that i don't believe in ghosts on this podcast <laughs> for like three weeks now They're was that the bet. sign for me to realize that a ghost is real literally because I, I was like i told like i was like a ghost just please come and like scare me or something sorry so i just want to know if they're real at this point because i don't honestly like, there's no reason for me to believe in them but uh that maybe that was ghost there all right ghosts you win. Um, <laughs> and then, guys, I saw the Mortal Kombat movie. And, guys, it was it was fucking amazing. Now, if you don't know anything about Mortal Kombat, you might not enjoy it like I did. <laughs> but I'm like, I love the Mortal Kombat games. And here's the thing. If you like action, you will like it. Because, holy fuck. Yeah, it's action, gory. when they When they finish, like, the, the character stories and they're like, let's get into the Mortal Kombat. Oh. <laughs> There is a scene where Sub Zero, he his shit is like ice powers. He cuts a guy and his blood shoots out, and he freezes the blood into like a pick and stabs the guy with it. And I was like, that's so gangster. And so the movie is just shit like that. So guys, if you're gonna watch Mortal Kombat, go into it with low expectations. Understand you are watching a action movie about a video game. You are not gonna get good dialogue. The acting is subpar, but like if you just enjoy it for the ride that it is, it's so fun and so good. I give that what a three out of three, guys. I suggest that you see it unless you just unless you can't do gore and you don't like action, then you will not like this movie. So if you like any of those, guys, go check it out. Um, music wise, I don't think I, I didn't write anything, so I must have not listened to any new music this week. Um, uh, what about you though? Any any music you've been checking out? Shows, um, movies you've seen recently that were good? Zach and I just watched the new Godzilla movie. What'd you think of it? Because I've seen that, <laughs> so I wanted to talk about it. I haven't had a guest on yet that's seen it. We kind of just like went to sleep because mm. <laughs> we were just like it was kind of boring. The beginning was very yes. slow, and I've never seen any Godzilla <laughs> movies. Yeah. So I just to me like my end of the day conclusion was that it was a very beefy lizard. Yeah, beefy lizard yeah. fights beefy gorilla. I was just kind of like, all right, Did the you little see girl's the crying again. I think we saw the end. Yeah, I want to oh, say God. we saw the it. The ending is was t- that's another ending that it was terrible. Okay, I yeah. guess spoilers again. Skip ahead. Um, <laughs> yeah, when he, when when the when like okay, they team up finally, and now right. they're gonna fight Mecha Godzilla. Right. Cool. Mecha Godzilla is beating their ass, so they're saved by a child pouring alcohol on the computer that's that's how we're gonna end this like that could have been done yeah the best way i was talking about it was with uh like my uncle about it and he's been part of like movie productions and stuff and he was like he was like yeah that that's he's like in the industry that's just like that's like the 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 human god moment like they had to write it that in the end it's humans who (laughs) save it like it's so it was just so <laughs> whack that they didn't give us some like epic thing of like maybe like Godzilla, you know, shoots a laser beam at him and, <laughs> and King Kong runs off his back with his sword. Like that would have been sick. But instead, this guy pours his dead wife's favorite alcohol on the keyboard or some shit and that's the ending we get. It was disappointing. It was a sure. very disappointing movie. Not that I was that interested in it, but yeah. I was like you could have done more. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing for someone yeah. who's not into the lore like you to like that it was like whack to you just is like shows how much more <laughs> that if you actually cared about it it's even more whack. It, yeah, it was For disappointing sure. is the perfect way to describe Be it. Be upset if I paid to see that. In a 100%. Sure. What a um what else did you uh have we you seen anything did else? finish wandavision mm-hmm. um the second video was rough <laughs> like yeah we watched the first and second we made it 
maybe 10 minutes into episode two and Zach looked at me. He turned it off. He literally just <laughs> no music, no TV, turned off the TV. He was like, I can't do it. It's so the boring. theme song for that one. I can, it lives in my head and I, I try to forget it and he sings it to me all the time and I just can't. What's awesome is, is so I like, I, so, sometimes when I watch TV, I'm not the best at like, like I have a very short attention span. <laughs> so like as soon as there's not the TV show on, I'll pull out my phone <laughs> and I guess I've, cause I didn't like, er, okay, so here's the thing. I don't, I couldn't for a million dollars describe to you what that happens <laughs> while the theme song goes on because I don't remember there being a theme song. But right. what I do have edged in my mind is Erica and Zach singing that fucking song because Erica all the time goes one division one one and gets it stuck in my head. And there was a night I remember I heard Zach start singing it to you, and then it got Erica going. And then they were like, I, they heard they were like, oh, one division, and I was like, I, I hate both of you. I want to. I wanted to die. <laughs> both of you right now because it gets stuck in your head. Yes. So fast. So yes. quick. I told him that night. I was like. I can't get it out of my head. I'm miserable. I was laying there trying to sleep. Yeah. Dead silence. Maybe 15 minutes pass. And then I don't know. He starts singing it in my ear. And I was like, I'm going to kick you in the head. That's so terrible. He yeah. does it just to bug me now. But that was horrible. It's a good show if you give it the full commitment. I think you, you have to binge it, honestly. It's a great. Yeah. I wa Yeah. It's definitely one that I would advise yeah. to anyone. I mean, now you literally can only binge it. Right. I, mean, well, yeah, I guess you could space yourself out if you want. But it's definitely better perceived as a binge it's hard to go back to when you don't binge it because there are some episodes that are a little like i don't really want to waste my time yeah yeah and you forget stuff and like right. they're so mundane that it just like blends it because it was like i get the first two episodes or whatever we're like showing like like explaining kind of the concept of like of that of that city and stuff right and like the tv show how like She's, but like you could have done, they could have done that in a 30 minute episode sure. and then given us, they didn't, we didn't need two 45 minute episodes. Oh no. Which also made me think, cause it's like, it was like based off fifties and then sixties television. Uh -huh. Holy shit. Television must have been awful back then. That's what we were saying. Like we would not have owned a TV. For real, <laughs> Terrible. I, get why, yeah. <laughs> I would not have ever wanted to watch that shit. Um, any other music or movies or anything you want to put the listeners on to the um, squad? Um, Music wise, honestly, it's nothing new. I've yeah. just been listening to like the old ASAP mom, okay. like those ones, the cozy, like, the tapes. cozy tapes. Ooh, yeah. I like cozy. I those forget which one. Hit. I like the 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 cozy tapes volume. I think it's two. Whichever one. Volume has, two is really good. Whichever one yeah. has Yamborghini High on it. That one. I'm pretty sure it. it's two. Yeah. Yeah, because I like I like that that nonsense ass song where they're like walk leash walk. walk yeah. Walk, walk. <laughs> Because that shit just gets me hyped for no reason. Yeah. And it's not even that great of a song. There's that. And then Nasty's World is probably like one of my favorites mm, on it. Yeah. When you skip the minute and a half intro of them talking about nothing. Yeah. Is it's that, a great song. No, yeah. Because I, I always say, I always quote to the, the Yamborghini intro where he's like, what you wearing, man? He's like, oh, I'm fucking cozy. Yeah. Man. And I'll always be like, be like, you warm up that, bro. I'm fucking cozy. <laughs> But yeah, they, some of those songs you're like, like there's like a a movie esque intro. You're like, right. just start the fucking song already. When you're like hyped and you're trying to, I always think of it like when I'm with my friends mm -hmm. and I'm trying to just like go out or get yeah. ready. We're all hyped with the song, and then another one goes, and it's another minute long intro, and I'm like, I can't. Nah, yeah, that should, and it's a pain in the ass. It's 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 a very minimal pain in the ass, but it's a pain in the ass to have to skip. Some minor inconvenience. Yeah, for sure. exactly. First world problems type shit. Yeah. Um. Anything else? No, that's really all, honestly. Okay, well, this is the part where I give, like, uh, the floor is yours. Plug your Instagram, a website, any events coming up, anything like that. For Go sure. ahead, the floor is yours. Um, There are events every weekend at Huntington Beach Harley. Okay. So I'll be working all May long the weekends there, except for um, the 22nd. But there's an end-of-the-month party on the 30th. It's free beer, Ooh. so we should should check that out i think it's 805 which is kind of whack but but i mean free beer free beer you know, i mean i'll drink <laughs> free rolling pizza. rock if it's free yeah <laughs> honestly but that's all um my instagram is just my name okay. and i have tiktok too yeah, i'm supposed to use that i'm not good at it uh, tiktok's hard to stay like consistent with and it's one that I struggled with. I got banned for posting one of my tattoos. <laughs> I got uh, I got banned for posting uh, hashtag show everyone the donkey challenge. <laughs> donkey. <laughs> which uh, still, guys, I'm still waiting for you guys to send me submissions. I don't understand why this isn't taking <laughs> off. Um, yeah, I got reported and removed. 
pretty quickly. Right. Which I mean, I get it. It's an exploding donkey. I still, the, the, I still stand. That video is hilarious. <laughs> I think more people enjoyed it than not. I enjoyed they just don't want to admit that it made them laugh. Because I've had a lot of, especially comments, will come up to me and they'll be like, "Bro, I've been meaning to tell you this. That donkey video, <laughs> fucking hilarious." And I'm like, "Right, dude. It. I know it's not funny, but it's so funny. It's the way it explodes and like." part of it stays intact and stuff i don't know i just it, it, it makes me giggle <laughs> the way zach's grandpa said you know they had him for lunch oh after. my god and and Lene, her reaction to that that wasn't fun <laughs> that wasn't fun she throws the phone oh god that was so funny it was I so i had it. so much fun and because it was easter weekend too so yeah every, all the homies were sending it to their like showing their loved ones right. and their reactions. <laughs> I still the best one was my grandpa was literally giggling, <laughs> and then he looked at me and he goes, "Can you send me that?" I said, "You want it?" And he goes, "I want to send it to my Knights of Columbus <laughs> friends." Which, if you don't know what Knights of Columbus is, they're like a group of Catholic church people who like <laughs> do volunteer stuff and raise money for the church. And he was like, "They're gonna love this." And here's the worst part: he shows me their group chat. They're sending like I <laughs> funny memes, like 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 one like one was like an a, like an alligator had a, cr- a croc in its mouth, and it was oh like look at the, the 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 that crocodile carrying its young, like that shit. I'm like, and you're gonna send them a donkey blowing up <laughs> on Easter? Just Didn't like it. Jesus rise on this day? What the fuck is wrong with you? Shake it up a little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So make sure you follow her. Go check out her events. Uh, Links for all her social media are in the bio. If not, they're on the screen, too. They popped up at some point. Go give her a follow. Go like her post so she gets paid. Go check out. (laughs) If you like motorcycles, go buy a Harley from her. Guys, um, for me, uh, today is Sunday. I don't know. But this Friday, April 30th, you can see me in Downey at Baja's Grill and Lounge. I'll be doing, I think, like seven minutes there on a show, a bunch of cool comics. So if you want to see me perform live before I move to Texas, that's a good opportunity. Um, other than that, stickers and T-shirts still available, guys. You know, get them on the – on the, you can find them. Link in my bio. Um, again, if this is your first time or your 58th time, I don't know what – I think I have the wrong episode number written. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you listening. The squad, stay safe, have fun this weekend, and most importantly, thank you for letting us be your last resort. See ya. (laughs) Bye. This has been a Your Last Resort production.